On Wednesday, March 28th, the Ball State Cardinals face the Indiana Hoosiers for a game of softball. Let's pick things up in the fifth inning where the Ball State Cardinals are up by two. Taylor Yancey with the hit. That's going to go over the center fielder's head, and that's going to mean some extra bases. Yancey hustling around the bases, head first slide into third. That hit would bring in one run, one of the two runs that were scored in the fifth inning. Now let's move on to the sixth inning and the top of the six where Elizabeth Millian with another strikeout. She had four on the game, no walks in the game, and one hit was allowed. Now Ball State, well, they got their last out from center fielder Brittany Jones who makes the amazing catch, and she's going to hustle in to hand the ball off to one of her fellow teammates. Now let's pick things up from the bottom of the sixth where Amber Wolf will hit a line drive up the middle. Unable to get the hit, but she would advance the runner to third. Camila Hawley laying down the nice bunt for Ball State, scoring pinch runner Caitlin Gunderson. The bunt was very nice, and Camila Hawley reached first safely. Allie Pennock with a hit that's going to go over the first baseman and that would advance runners. Now Kelly Zuzorski with the long hit, and that would bring in a couple runs for the Cardinals. It would bring in two runs for the Cardinals and extend the lead six to nothing. And Taylor Yancey would come to the plate for the Cardinals, and she'd hit a long shot to left field for a double. This would bring in two runs, and these two runs would force the game to be called because of the mercy rule. Ball State wins it, eight to nothing. Amanda Pick was three for three at the plate for the Cardinals. Taylor Yancey two for four at the plate with three RBIs. And the winning pitcher in this one, Elizabeth Millian, pitched six innings, zero runs, four strikeouts, no walks, and she bettered her ERA to 2.44. Interesting facts in this one, the mercy rule was called. And the game ended in six innings rather than seven. And it's the first time BSU has beaten IU since 2004.